there's a common medication that saves lives from cardiovascular disease, but get this, it increases cholesterol. Specifically, it increases LDL bad cholesterol. Isn't that paradoxical? Well, in a landmark 2015 trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine, SGLT2 inhibitor medications reduced cardiovascular death by 38%, that was the relative risk reduction, and lowered all-cause mortality, all death. But if you dig into the supplementary appendix, figure S3 and section P at the end, you'll find a buried detail. LDL increase in the SGL2 inhibitor treatment group. This is actually a known effect of these medications. The rise wasn't big, but it was actually larger than what's seen in other studies where LDL is blamed for increased heart disease risk. And you can see the associated long-form content for more on that. And the mechanism by which these SGLT2 inhibitors improve heart health, it's actually fascinating. So one example, they can help clear out senescent zombie-like cells throughout the body, including in blood vessels. My point isn't that LZL or ApoE don't matter. It's that the narrative we're often sold, that they're the primary drivers or ultimate measures of cardiovascular risk, is not just oversimplified, it's harmful. When we look at health through a keyhole, people suffer around us. 